Austin's watersheds are the lands that contribute to and sustain our creeks, lakes, springs, and the Colorado River. Each time rain falls on our city, it flows through a vast network of built and natural infrastructure and into our waterways. Rain feeds the beautiful places that make Austin special, places where we can spend time with friends and family, explore nature, cool off, and relax. But rain can also pick up pollutants, erode creek banks, and flood homes and businesses. The city's Watershed Protection Department focuses on how rainwater makes its way across Austin's landscape. Our department protects lives, property, and the environment by reducing the impacts of flooding, erosion, and water pollution. We do this through construction projects to improve infrastructure, regulations to prevent future problems, and programs to address citywide needs. Let's go on a quick tour of some different ways that our department helps tackle watershed problems. My name is Kelly Rich, and I'm an engineer with our stream restoration program. We're standing in front of an eroding creek channel near Colony Park in East Austin. Our construction crews are working to stabilize the banks and improve the conveyance of water to help reduce the threat of erosion and flooding for nearby homes. My name is Tanya Meyer Ramirez, and I'm a teacher for the Earth Camp program. Earth Camp is a four-day hands-on science program for Austin's fifth graders. Students get to investigate the watershed in a local park to learn how healthy land results in a healthy creek. They check water quality in the creek by looking for insect larvae, like this guy here, and explore a cave to see how water travels underground on its journey into the Edwards Aquifer. Students learn and practice personal actions that can contribute to cleaner creeks and springs, such as gardening without chemicals, like composting, putting waste in its place, and planting native plants. My name is Jorge Kitty, and I work in a flood early warning system. We are responsible for watching the weather 24 seven, maintaining and monitoring a large network of rain and stream gauges around the city, as well as low water crossings. When a storm comes, we activate staff to monitor, close, and reopen the low water crossings across the city. About 75% of flood-related deaths in Texas occur in vehicles, so monitoring and closing low water crossings helps to keep our community safe. Hi, my name is Clayton West, and I'm an engineer with the Watershed Protection Department. We're standing here in Battle Bend Park in South Austin. We recently completed a project here to enhance the park, restore the health of the creek, and help improve water quality. Most of the time, this new play field behind me can be used for soccer, frisbee, or other types of recreation. But when it rains, this field will fill up with stormwater and slowly filter out the pollutants as it drains to keep clean water flowing downstream. My name is Andre McNeil. I'm with the Watershed Department. I'm an Equipment Tech One with the CCTV uh, section. Typically what we do is we lower our, our robotic crawler into a storm drain or into a manhole, whichever job we're needing to do for the day. And what we're checking for is the integrity of the pipe, the conditions, if there's a collapse or if there is anything um, that is abnormal. We're looking to see exactly how everything is supposed to flow as far as the storm water. My name is Celestine Gam. I'm on the Water Quality Compliance Team. Our investigators respond to reports of polluting discharges, such as illegal dumping, hazardous and non-hazardous spills, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We ensure effective recovery of pollutants from the environment. Examples of pollutants we encounter include pesticides, antifreeze, paint, motor oil, and grease. Last year, we recovered over six million gallons of pollutants from the environment, preventing all that bad stuff from ending up in our creeks and our lakes. My name is Eric Brown, and our team reviews development applications for compliance with Austin's stringent environmental regulations. When a new development is proposed, we go out and verify that sensitive environmental features like wetlands, seeps, springs, rim rocks, bluffs, sinkholes, and caves are being identified and protected from negative impacts. My name is Miranda Reinhardt, and I'm a wetland biologist. Wetlands are my personal favorite of the features we protect because of their beauty, diversity, complexity, and ecological benefits. This wetland behind me not only helps improve water quality by filtering out pollutants, it also stores carbon to help fight climate change, provides habitat for plants and animals, recharges groundwater, and helps reduce flooding and erosion downstream. Protecting these unique features helps preserve the health and function of the environment for generations of Austinites to enjoy. To adapt to new challenges and better serve our residents, we are prepared to create Rain to River, a strategic plan to protect Austin's creeks and communities, and we need your help. Our department will use this plan to set goals, prioritize work, and guide our decision-making. 
visit rain to river atx.com to share your vision